You started off battle rapping, right? Yeah, I mean, I come from that. So, you know, that's mm. something that I appreciate wholeheartedly, and I ain't got no problem still doing it. Today? You a battle rap somebody. If somebody calls you out, yeah, you ain't in the challenge. I, I got to deal with that. You just got to go in there with your heart, with your lion heart and your, and, your, and your dragon lung and just bust somebody ass real quick and do it the way you know how to do it best. Hey, yo, this your boy Buster Rhymes, general of the conglomerate movement, YMCMB, all day, every day. I know what it is. You know where I be. You know what I do. This is 50.com. Salute. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Buster, what it is right now. What's going on with you, man? What up with you, bro? Dog, it's been a long time coming, man. I'm glad you're finally sitting down no with doubt. me. Seen you last night. I see you a battle rap fan and yeah, shit. Yeah, nah, that shit was crazy. It I, was ridiculous. I ain't never been to that summer, that summer live, what, what they call it? Summer Madness. Summer Madness, yeah. I ain't never been to that before. I mean, I've been following it online for a couple of years, but the way that shit looked yesterday was, was really... Like, I, I got a, a real clear understanding on how powerful that movement is. Mm. And that shit is good to see it because it don't get no closer than the authentic hip-hop shit than that. So what you and Puffy was doing there, man? What y'all plotting on doing with the um, smack shit, man? I ain't plotting nothing. I was just there as a fan, you know what I'm just saying? Just as simple as that? As simple as that. You know, okay. Tip, Tip gave me a call and told me that him and Diddy was going to go, and they asked me if I wanted to come, and I was like, let's do it. And all three of us, you know, we got our 20-year homie friendship and brotherhood. So we just we just went down there on some fan shit. You know Word. what I'm saying? Now I've seen a whole bunch of Ciroc banners hanging around that <laughs> motherfucker. So, you know, I'm sure he got some kind of business going on with that. But if he do, that'll be good because, you know, it, it's important that a dude like a Diddy, myself, or Q-Tip co-sign and endorse this type of shit because it's just going to help bring that much more notoriety to it, that much more respect and appreciation to it and validity to it. You know, not that them dudes ain't accomplishing that on their own because obviously this shit is what it is because of what they've been doing on their own mm -hmm. without our cosign. But, you know, it just, they made fans out of us. So mm -hmm. we had to go down there and support. Come on, look how we got them ready to act out. Girl, I'm ready to get the twist in your back yes, out. Come on. But, you know, let's talk about your project. Yeah, that yeah, you got yeah. Right now. Year of the Dragon, ninth solo album, first in three years. Coming out exclusively for free through Google Play, 14 songs. It's just straight feel good, boom bap, slappers. That shit that we grew up on in the 90s with now on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what it is. It's what we grew up on, but with the now pers perspective and just the now swag. Like how we would rhyme over dreams of fucking an R&B bitch, me and Gucci. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was important to put a South dude on some traditional classic New York shit, the way a lot of New York artists is going and rhyming on traditional South sounding shit. Mm -hmm. And that was just dope that Gucci was with that. And it sound crazy and it feel crazy. But as opposed to with having an 808 when Biggie did it, they got an 8 on, 808 on it now. Mm. Just giving you what we grew up on with the now shit on it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Watch so. me do it and display it in such a way where I can limit it all Versace, stupid. Stepping up in the spot, you know you must salute it. And I suggest that you humble yourself and watch me, student. And it's great because the shit about the situation that I love the most is that, you know, we giving this album out through a medium that people ain't never get music through before. That Google Play thing is a whole new thing. It's a groundbreaking opportunity that I was being able to be blessed with the opportunity to be a part of. And just co-sign this idea of me putting this album out for free, because this is a project that I felt like I wanted to do. On want some thank you to the people that have been fucking with me for 20 years. Mm. And for the new ones that have been fucking with me within the last couple of years since I put out the last album, because, you know, this kids that was 10 years old, Five years ago, that's 15 now. There ain't no shit about me before look at me now. Mm. Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop cause you know I gotta win every day, day. Mm. So, you know, I wanna make sure that they understand I appreciate their new love and their new support. Hey, you know what's funny about that too, dog? Cause when you was in Leaders of the New School, I didn't know you. <laughs> but then when you was in um when it, when you had came out in '96 when Wu Ha got you all in chat, I was like, oh shit, that's the nigga in how I learned. <laughs> 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 and then now my people, you know what I'm saying, like my little cousins and shit, they're like, oh shit, 
that's the nigga uh, with Chris Brown. Look at you now. No doubt, no, no, like, no. How do you stay that fucking relevant? What do you? What is the secret to staying relevant like that, man? I just this love, three different generations of young dudes. Thank you. I, I, I love my sh my shit. I love hearing I love hearing myself on a record. I love hearing myself on a beat. Nigga, I go in the club, nigga. I want to hear my voice on some shit. Slapping through the biggest speakers in the building mm -hmm. in front of a thousand, two thousand niggas that's just wilding out and they don't even know that I'm in this bitch. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, just, just the, 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 it's like the fulfillment of that shit, the high that I get from that is unlike anything else. Mm. Well, I want to thank you, man. It ain't enough time in, in, in inside this interview to a ask you everything. Yeah, that you know I we got us. We got a bill problem. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. More time. Yeah, man, we we're gonna, gonna come it. back and get yeah, it. We gonna get night. it. So, anything you want to tell people before we get up out of here, man? Once again. Year the Dragon, August 21st, phenomenal. That official fuck your face up, slappers, beat your head in, bangers. Y'all just need to go treat yourselves to that. The album is free exclusively on Google Play. Y'all know what it is. You know who I be. You know what I do. Go get his shit, man, right now. It's for free. He don't need your money. This nigga got real jewelry on. <laughs> Been had that. We over and we out of here, man. Like I always say, you just can't say you're really something. You got to be busted around. Hey, do I have something in my eye? I'll go to commercial. <laughs> Conglomerate YMCMB. Salute. Look at me now. Look at me now. How? I'm getting paper. Look at me now. How? Look at me now.